Well, I think NLU stands out because of a couple things. One has to do with its long history of innovation. We think about the change that our students are going to make when they graduate. What is the change that's going to happen in a community as a result of what students do here? The faculty are very uh, caring and very student-centered and very mission-driven. We're a direct line to reaching out to people who were underserved. We're a direct line to using education as a way to change the world. At NLU, it's really in our model that everybody can do as well as they can. So when we have 10 people start, we really want 10 people to graduate. So it's the kind of place where we really nurture people into doing the best they can. With our online program, we see many students who are worried about juggling family responsibilities as well as jobs, as well as full-time uh, course load, and figuring out how to pay for it. So what we do is we sit down with those students to figure out what their funding is and then work with their academic team or their enrollment team to make sure that the hours that they're enrolled for, A, can be covered with either funds or a payment plan, and B, makes sense for the student's schedule. So it's really kind of a group effort to make sure that the student is ready and able to not only only pay for school but to be successful in their classes. One of them, I think, is that they're not going to qualify for any free money, any grant funding, because they assume they make too much, but that's not always the case, so they should definitely fill out the FAFSA just to see. So here at NLU, we reside in uh, Illinois, but we also have a school in Florida. So if the student or residents of either Illinois or Florida, even if they're online students, they will still qualify for the state grant. So if they think, oh, well, I don't actually go to an on-site school and I may not qualify, that's not necessarily the case. If they meet certain other requirements, and meet the residency requirement, then they will actually qualify. Online actually has a number of advantages. Being online, they're not being crowded out by other students like they might be if you were in a time-constrained environment and the person next to you was hogging all the airtime. There are people for whom online feels more personal, more intimate, that you have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the professor as well. Frequently in a lecture, you may miss something and the instructor doesn't have time to go back and, and do it over. But with the online environment, again, we don't have that constraint. Our program is really designed with working practitioners in mind. And so from day one, it's about making sure that the things that you're doing at work uh, come into the classroom or the online classroom as the case may be, but also that you're able to use everything that you're learning in class immediately uh, in your work as well. One of the reasons that I think most of our students come to, to NLU for the doctorate in higher education leadership is because they care about doing something. Our program is different from a PhD or a more traditional doctorate that is focused on theory and kind of research for the sake of research. What we're focused on here is helping students achieve the change that they want to see on their campus or in their community. And so that's kind of particularly what our program focuses on and it's, it's what we see most of our students really coming to us for. We have a new idea of, of how to pair students with faculty advisors from the outset that no one else is doing. No one else gives students a dedicated faculty advisor for one-on-one -on -one connection from day one. This is a brand new program. We started in January of 2017, and being a brand new program lets us see what works elsewhere and also see what doesn't work sometimes and create the kind of program that we think is gonna serve students the best.
One of the best predictors of student success, particularly in uh, graduate education, is the sense to which students feel like they belong and like they feel like they fit. And so that is at the core of everything that we do, is making sure that students feel like they fit here. We have uh, success coaches who are kind of the go-to point person for students along the way. So as they run into any sort of professional issues, academic issues, things that come up where they, they just need to talk to someone, they have that point person that they've worked with. The top three things I'd like students to know about the MBA program at NLU, one would be the curriculum is very much aligned with what employers need and want. In the curriculum, we have a real focus on leadership ability. Another thing would be our faculty are really focused on student success. The third part of it is the MBA program at National Lewis, I think, is an exceptional value for the tuition dollar. Students coming to the National Lewis MBA program can expect to learn a lot about how to be a, an effective leader and a leader of change in organizations. They will learn about the major business functions in all organizations, so from uh, product development to operations to marketing and sales. They will learn about ethics and social responsibility as well. On top of everything else, you need to have the ability to continue learning. So learning how to learn is, is also a very important skill set to succeed. The, the university really doesn't treat the online students differently than the students who come here in person to attend classes. They get invited to all the same events, have access to all the same resources, the library and so forth. And the fact that a lot of these resources are becoming more digital oriented as opposed to physical actually works to the advantage of the online student. In every course, students are they're being monitored basically to ensure that they're not falling into an at-risk category, at risk of failing a course or dropping out of the program. When we see signs of that, we will intervene and make sure that the student is getting the assistance that they need. The thing that sets our program apart is, frankly, there aren't that many masters in psychology that are not either clinical psychology or counseling psychology. This is a masters in general psychology. So a masters in general psychology is something that can lead you on to a doctorate in psychology. It's really great for career changers, people who, you know, you're an accountant or you're a marketer and you decide, you know, I, I really want to do something different with my life. We enable people to change tracks, to change careers. psychology is tremendous. The American Psychological Association, I think, has, well, over a hundred divisions. What general psychology gives you is the basis in knowledge, the basis in theory, the basis in all the research that has happened. And then as we get into new discoveries, our students have the tools to learn the new topics. They've moved on to, to get degrees in, in applied behavior analysis. We've had many students go on and get doctorates. We've had many students go on and use this as a place to move ahead. I think we're really trying to make a point of responding to every student every time, connecting them to each other, and finding ways to make connections among the students. Those things that we do in class, those ways that we create that group that pull each other up, we're learning to do virtually. It's about taking people and making them into more than they thought they could be.